Hey YouTube, Kira Qualia here, bringing you all my Shaman King, Joko, Cardfight Vanguard deck profile. This is the next deck in the lineup for all of the Shaman King deck profiles I'll be working on this month. It's a really awesome deck. Uh, Joko was actually supported in the second booster set for the Shaman King title booster, but we got all of the support together. So it was actually a deck that I got the good majority of the support uh, needed for it. So I figured I'd do a deck profile uh, as quick as I could. This one uh, focuses on some of the the pressure that along with Joko, uh, Jaguar Mick can provide as backup with the Oversoul. Being also able just to restand your Vanguard is immense pressure no matter what the deck and then being able to retack again for a very easy cost as well. And then using some of the backup from Team the Ren for uh, Joko as well is always great support along with the Tau Ren and Horo Horo cards you can run. So let's go ahead and get started with the deck profile. So for the ride deck, our grade zero is Jaguar Joko, just the standard when wrote upon. If you went second, draw a card. Our next is the grade one, which is together with the Jaguar Soul Joko. When this unit is placed by riding from Jaguar Joko, search your deck for up to one, moving at high speeds with a keen sense of smell. Mick, call it to your back row center rear guard and shuffle your deck. So very similar to the Horo Horo deck, just being able to set up that grade one on our back row rear guard sets us up for oversoul and then also for the play style of your grade two which is uh shaft joko when this unit attacks while boosted by a unit with mick in its card name your opponent chooses a card from their hand reveals it you choose up to one card from your hand with the same grade as that card reveal it if you revealed a card you draw a card and this unit gets minus five thousand until uh end of battle so it's a real setup for the draw power being able to rely on that power and pressure to go against your opponent's hand to use with our grade three being wind of laughter that blows away evil joko along with this copy and unlike some of the other uh cards in the uh, deck where you would get cross rides. Joko is one of the cards that actually did not have sort of like a grade three cross ride option. So along with the copy from the ride deck, we're running three additional copies of this card with its once per turn oversoul. You put a rear guard with Mick and its card name into your soul. And until end of turn, your opponent cannot intercept and all of your opponent's grade three or greater units get minus 5,000 power and making it a definite, I would say rival to Bastion of all decks in card by Vanguard, weakening the grade three lineup, but also just being able to so they can intercept as well obviously there's not too many grade twos in the bastion deck but i just find it funny that the grade three minus power works very very well for the vanguard obviously or any of the rear guard grade threes may want to hit and on the vanguard circle at the end of your battle this unit attack if this unit is an oversoul this turn you can counter blast two stand this unit and gets drive minus two into under turn so if you get a critical trigger on the first two drive checks and you give all those effects to joko that's just additional pressure that if your opponent doesn't guard this attack you'll be hitting for two additional damage against them Moving on now to the grade twos. For the grade two lineup, I'm also running four copies of Becoming the World's Top Comedian, Joko. When this unit is placed on rear guard, your opponent cannot intercept until end of turn. Then Soul Blast 2, search your deck for up to one Jaguar Mick, call it to rear in the same column as this unit, and shuffle your deck. So that is the other grade one that we are running in the deck as added backup because you can oversoul with that card as well. Just being able to use that setup of putting a card with Mick into your soul helps for the grade three power as well and just the restriction of your opponent not being able to intercept is something you want to try to attempt to do every single turn also for the added backup from team the ren i am also running three copies of unyielding bonds tau ren when this unit attacks a grade three or greater vanguard if you have a vanguard with horo horo or joko in its card name this unit gets plus plus ten thousand power until end of that battle at the end of the battle of that attack hit you can counter plus one and your opponent chooses a card from their hand discards it taking away from uh you know upcoming guards they may need it's just a good pressure grade two to have on the rear guard with some of the other defensive ones being three copies of kind man wooden sword ryu i know ryu is a part of the funbari onsen team but this one is more for defense if your opponent's vanguard is greater or greater and you do not have a vanguard with wooden sword ryu in its card name this unit gets shield plus ten thousand, just making it the same defensive strength as a trigger which is very very useful for a grade two option being able to also just attack on the rear guard with this card and i also run two copies of long 
law of the jungle, Horo Horo. During the battle, your Vanguard with Tauren or Joku and its card name is attacked, it gets plus 10,000 shield. And on Rearguard, when this unit attacks a great through a great Vanguard, if your Vanguard is Tauren or Joko, this unit gets plus 5,000. Being more of a power boost unit compared to Ryu, I just like the option of having both guards in the deck. If you wanted to mix and match your numbers, you could increase the number of Horo Horos to Ryu, but it's player preference there. With the last of the great twos, just running one copy of the Holy Girl Iron Maiden Gene. When this unit's placed on rear, you Soul Blast 3, draw a card, and counter charge. Making up for some of the counter blasts that you may want to use with your Joko's Restanding Power. So you can at least attempt to use this skill three times in one game, as long as you have that counter charge, thanks to Gene. And that's it for the grade twos. Moving on now to the grade ones. I run three copies of moving at high speeds at uh, Keen Sense, Smell, Mick. When this unit is put from rear guard into your soul for the cost of oversoul, you may soul charge one. And if you soul charge a trigger unit, you can choose one of your vanguards and it gets plus 5,000 to end of turn. So being able to at least give your uh, vanguard, if you have a persona road that turn, an additional plus 5,000 is a great option for the additional use if you accidentally do soul charge a uh, trigger off of your Mick for the oversoul. And for the fact that you will be soul blasting a lot depending on if it's either for gene or even for some of your other cards you run in the deck with the other grade one mick we run just being two copies of jaguar mick on rear guard when this unit boosts this unit gets plus 2000 till the end of that battle if it boosts a unit with joko and its card name it gets plus 5000 instead of 2000 and your opponent chooses three cards from their hand and reveals them so just giving you more of an option to see what your opponent has for those guard restrictions and also just for the option for the uh ride deck having the option boost for mick but also just being able to call out this card onto the field for your top comedian Joko as an additional card for the boost. With the last of the grade ones just being the Sentinel lineup, the two and two. Uh, once again, there's really no difference to which ones you run in these decks, just if you want to go for more of a hero or a villain sense. It's still also the same guard restriction, having two or more cards in your hand to discard one, but if you have one, you can at least keep the other card in your hand to block one more attack without having to use the discard. Moving on now to the orders for the Blitz orders. I run three Gagwin. If you have a unit with Joko and its card name, play this card with the have last of one all of your opponents front row get minus 5,000 till end of turn just more of a weakening card when your opponent attacks so very very useful because it takes away some of the power they may have need even for their front row rear guards to hit against you and all the better if they didn't persona ride that turn and I'm also running two copies of Team the Ren. With this card, you play it. If you have a Vanguard with Tau Ren, Joko, or Horo Horo in its card name, choose up to one of your units, each with Tau Ren in its card name, Joko in its card name, and Horo Horo, and they get plus 5,000. If you chose three units and you did not countercharge this turn, you countercharge one. Another way to make up for the counterblasting, which you will do heavily in this deck with your Grade 3 Joko Vanguard. And then moving on now to the triggers. I'm running four copies of Super High Speed World Mick just as a better option and chance to oversoul with one of your triggers. And then three copies of Sealed Ultra Senji Ryukets. I like the seven critical with a Vanguard that can restand its immense pressure for sure. And for hand consistency, uh, four additional copies of Reliable Jaguar Partner Mick. Once again, oversoul options being Mick in its card name and just for more hand consistency with the draw with the heel being four copies of Inherited Soul Jaguar Mick. Uh, I really do like that this has just a full option to have oversoul as long as you have a trigger in your hand with the last trigger just being the over trigger, the close pair under the Moonlit Sun for the damage option, but also just being able to play it as an order to retire all of your opponent's units if you do have this card in your hand. But that is it for the deck profile. I hope you all enjoy the video. I'll be continuing to do a bunch of Shaman King decks from this booster set, so definitely do look forward to them. And as always, until next time, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and Kira Qualia out.